Hey guys, between working a bit too much recently and uh, trying to flesh out concepts uh, for a longer video, difficult concept, difficult concepts for a longer video, I just wanted to make mention of this, and I mean by this uh, the murder trial <coughs> of Travis Alexander, who was murdered by one Jody Arias. Now, I'm also going to be posting a link to a very good channel. Um, the gentleman's channel's name is uh, Violent Women Among Us, and many of my subscribers, it seems, already are sub to him, but I would suggest more of you sub to him. It is a <coughs> channel with a singular purpose, pointing out the hypocrisy uh, to be found within our society with regards to violent women and the violence that they perpetrate. Now, <coughs> in the case of Jody Arias, uh, it's very interesting because uh, it's, this happened in Arizona in, in 2008. Uh, basically, to, to make a long story short, she murdered her now deceased boyfriend. And she didn't just kill him, she butchered him. Uh, the current uh, police report indicates that she stabbed him uh, 29 times and then uh, <coughs> gave him a Glasgow smile uh, as well. And for those, those of you who aren't from Glasgow, Scotland, the Glasgow smile is when you cut the throat from one point to the next and, uh, yeah, you slit the throat like a, like a smile. Uh, and in addition, she shot him in the face a couple of times. I'm not sure how many times. <coughs> Needless to say, he uh, he was not really recognizable uh, after all of that, um, and I'm not sure the order. I think she stabbed she stabbed him first, gave him the the Glasgow smile, and then then shot him. But anyway, <laughs> in the face several times. I initially, she denied doing it. <clears throat> then she switched her defense to uh, self defense, meaning uh, he was. <laughs> He was, of course, abusive towards her. <laughs> he was abusive towards her, and uh, she had to defend herself. Um, I mean, that, of course, flies in the face of her f her first claim of not doing it. But uh, generally speaking, when any person, male or female, commits an act of self-defense, it's unlikely to result in 29 stab wounds, a, gla a Glasgow smile, and several shots to the face from a gun just doesn't really work that way, usually at least. Maybe she's special. So <clears throat> this uh, trial has gotten some media attention, but really not as much as it should have uh, been getting or should have gotten. And I think it has a lot to do with, of course, the fact that the alleged murderer and likely murderer is a female uh, and, uh, you know, I imagine if it had been a male, oof, who knows all the bad stuff that might, might have arisen. I mean, not just the horrible murder, but, you know, <laughs> you know they, they, the politicians might have used it as reason to pass new legislation uh, on, on against men or constraining men and their freedom, and who knows. But it's not getting enough attention in my honest assessment. So those of you who don't know violent among, uh, women among us, I would suggest that you sub him. He's got a very, uh, a very good, very purposeful channel um, that has basically one purpose. <coughs> I did see, watching some reports, reading some stuff that they might, they might try to. I don't know. This is just, I'm just theory crafting here. They might try to uh, pull some sort of. Uh, Insanity play out of their ass. I mean, she, they found, they found uh, a journal entry where she literally writes, I mean, may, maybe she is insane, uh, but that's not, ex not an excuse. In fact, uh, I, 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 I would really be uh, unsurprised if they, if they used that excuse and she somehow got off or at least ended up in a mental institution as opposed to prison. So, sorry, I, I, it's early morning here. Basically, <coughs> she had a journal entry, and supposedly she, in the gen in entry, she mentions that she, she, where is, where is uh, Travis? You know, where is he? Where is where is my boyfriend? Well, <laughs> after he had been murdered, so some sort of dementia. I mean, who knows? But <coughs> just just imagine this sort of thing. 
perpetrated by a man. You know, 29, shot, 29 cuts, Glasgow smile, multiple gunshots to the face. Clearly, clearly, there will be more media coverage, there will be more demonization of men. This, of course, is just, quote-unquote, an isolated event. Um, and, I mean, all I can say regarding this, and you should definitely uh, check out the story, is <coughs> if, if she somehow, by some miracle, gets off <coughs> scot-free, I mean, uh, this m might be the greatest travesty of justice that uh, we could see, at least uh, in the la we, we've seen in the last couple of years. I mean, the... You know, the Nova Scotia story was outrageous enough, but, <laughs> I mean, this is mur some guy was essentially ritually murdered and butchered by a woman. But because it was by a woman, everything, the circumstances all, all of a sudden change. Um, can, can you imagine a man offering an excuse? <coughs> Sorry. Well, uh, I didn't do it. Oh, self-defense. I mean, it, it just wouldn't fly. Um, and because it's, it's a woman, it does fly, so... Anyway, so I'm, I'm going to post some links to the st different links to that story. Um, if you don't know about it, do check it out. And do check out Violent Woman, uh, Women Among Us. Uh, like I said, a very good channel with a singular and important purpose, exposing the, uh, the lies and the uh, dishonesty and the hypocrisy in our society regarding uh, violent uh, women and what they do. Anyway, take care.